the next thing we we're basically doing is just we we're Oh no, that's right. We were gonna buy. Oh no, no, we bought the the land expansion. Never mind. I was gonna say we need to buy the land expansion, but no, we don't need to buy the land expansion. So we're actually okay. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do was come here and that's right, gather up all the apples and the. Let's uh, gather up all the different stuff we were gonna use to sell, um, and and make back some money because we still have to upgrade the the restaurant itself. So, buttons, let's check out, uh, cause the mon the money makers were the ghost tatoes and the Irwin, and I believe we just had, no, I was gonna say, do we just have a ton of apples? But actually, no, we don't. Um, it was the Irwin. So, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and, since we're waiting on... Since, since we're just sort of waiting on... Hello. Uh, since we're sort of waiting on 9 o'clock anyway, let's just go ahead and collect up some extra fruit. There's no way I can sell today. But that doesn't mean I can't have it collected up and ready to go. Yeah, see, you get a lot of Irwin fruit. When these things drop, they drop a lot. And they're all worth 90 apiece. All right, let's go ahead and I may not actually have enough room to get all this, which is, you know, a good problem to have. Ah. All right, grab, 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 whoop. Come on, there we go. Okay, inventory full. Oh, no, not that. I want to go here. Open saddlebag. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, that's right. I've been using... I forgot I've been using him as my as my extra... My extra cooking supplies thing, haven't I? All right. Uh, for now, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go like that, 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 that because I don't need it right this second. Excuse me. Thank you. Put all that there. Oh, my nose. <laughs> all right, let's go gather up the rest of this and then we are going to go running back and we're gonna do the Festumancers. Yeah, yeah, I don't really need to mess with that right now. All right, in, in here. Oh no, we're topped off. So let's go. Give me your saddle bags. Give me your saddle bags. Thank you. And do 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 do. Gosh, I don't need all this additional stuff here. I've got a bunch of stuff. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna carry all this stuff on me right now on the bizarre off chance that I have to cook. Um, I'll at least have something to cook with. I, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to take my, I, I I'm not going to take my, my, my full thing. They're not talking about chances. Are I'm going to have to cook, but they're not, they're not saying that we, that we're, we're probably going to be cooking right this second. So, uh, back here. Let's go meet with Valzoy. All right, buddy. The review Lucian. <clears throat> Here you are. You ready to go? I guess we are. Got the permits? Yep. Off we go then. Yeah, because I'm here to address the fact that they tossed a freaking giant carrot at my at my place. Wow. This is a restaurant? Oh, it's he oh, Plaza. Okay. Eden Plaza, home of the transcendent. Whoa. 
Gotta admit, it's quite impressive. The Festumancers are mages who use their power to bring cuisine to the next level. They're the best of the best. They're so good, they can't even control their stupid props. Let's go. I... I gotta say... I mean... This is their restaurant? I mean, to be honest, this kind of makes me think of the, um... <coughs> of the, uh, what do you call it? Um... Uh, medieval times where they have like all that great big sort of plaza that you can go and and check out and shop and you interact with people and you can get a drink and all that stuff before you go into the main show the actual dinner show I mean the place is kind of cool nobles can I talk to you I cannot talk to you what is bubbling here It also kind of makes me think Harry Potter. Uh, okay. <coughs> Clerk! They got things to do here. Okay, never mind. Uh oh! Uh oh. Okay, well, at least I've got, like. At least I got a bunch of stuff to work with here. Because if the linked container is here, that means I am going to do some cooking. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. I think that's the way we're going to go in. But let me just... I want to look at the different shops and stuff first. But it, I think we're I think we're set. Here we go. All right. Hi. We're here to discuss some business. Welcome to the Transcendent. The Necromuncher? Yes, well, we're here to talk with your bosses. If you have a reservation, please present your reservation crystal. We don't have a reservation. We're here about a serious accident caused by your magical props. If you don't have a reservation, you can ask for one by filling out a form. Waiting time can vary from one to six months, depending on the number of people. I'm not waiting one to six months. Zest. Really, what's with the gatekeepers in this city? Is everyone trying to give me a stroke? Zest, calm down. No, I will not calm down. Look, pal, one of your shenanigans almost destroyed our restaurant. We are not here to eat your abracata uh, abracadabra porridge. We're here to talk reparations. I don't care how important your restaurant is. We're not waiting six months. You're going to take us to your bosses right now, or we're going to get the city watch involved. I'd much rather not need to get the authorities involved, but if you keep the charade up, I will not hesitate. Welcome to the Transcendent. If you have a reservation, please present your reservation. The, the, guy, the guy's a robot! <laughs> it's a robot! It's an automatron! <laughs> it, okay. Uh, if you don't have a reservation, you can ask for one by filling out a form. <sighs> Waiting time can vary from one to six months, depending on the number of people. <sighs> it's not a real person, Zest. It's a magical construct. Yes, I've realized now. Thank you for telling me. Really sounds like a real person, though. Nothing like Zest's Golem. Golems are inf infinigon stuff. They actually sort of think and generate speech, which makes them all the more scary, especially if they break. This guy here just reacts and says stuff that has been pre-spoken, and they use a thing called e economy or something like that. How the hell do you know about this? My people had a bit of an issue with a golem long ago. It was pretty embarrassing. So we decided to learn about constructs and stuff. Just in case. Fascinating. How do we get in? Dunno. It would seem that we need a reservation crystal. 
Maybe we could ask around and see if we can convince anyone to lend us one. <sighs> Ugh. Well, uh, like the only, I was gonna say, these guys, well, I mean the clerk, I guess. Maybe the clerk would be a better one to talk to. Wait, oh wait, you're not the clerk. Where was that clerk? Was it you? Yeah, it was you. I've got things, okay, never mind. So uh, the only other, the only other people, oh, is the, 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 the people with the big crystal thing right here. Excuse me. Hmm? Yes? You seem a bit out of place here. Is that a reservation crystal you have there? It obviously is, but I guess you lot wouldn't recognize it, would you now? I was wondering if you could lend it to us. And why on Fulgar would we do that? We really need to get in there and talk with the... Festumancers. Ha! <laughs> like they would talk to you. In any case, we've been looking forward to getting into that restaurant again. Indeed, there's a dish they do, a very particular flavor. The main ingredient is a depths crab, and they accompany it with a vigorous sauce. They also manage to achieve a perfect balance of spirit and sophistication. I guess that if we could eat a dish like that anywhere else, we wouldn't need to get into the restaurant anymore. I see. I think the solution to this conundrum has become quite obvious. <laughs> Was that vigorous enough for you? <laughs> Why the evolver? Hey! <laughs> I didn't read any of that! <laughs> Happening, lion. Things are happening. Oh God. Well, where are those idiot dancers? What just happened? <laughs> Here I was like, oh boy. Okay, so that's why they have the link containers. I'm gonna have to make this thing. Nope. in the footage and read what what they said but it was something like well that worked <laughs> so, oh my god oh my god that was brilliant <laughs> that was freaking brilliant <sighs> I don't see them all I see are those construct of theirs maybe if we make a scene they'll show up but you're already making a scene. Ah. But you're already making a scene. And who are you to erupt like that in the sanctum of food? We're the crew of the restaurant in the old port district, and we're here to talk to you about your flying props. What? You want to buy one? I'm sorry, but they're not for sale. Besides, it wouldn't help you all that much to gain notoriety. <laughs> Buy one. More like return it. One of your blasted things went rogue and crashed on top of our restaurant. Were you trying to kill us? <laughs> kill you? We didn't even know you existed. Why kill you didn't? We've been involved in every major culinary scandal in recent history. My good man, our heads are busy in the elevated spheres. We don't care all that much what the ordinary people do, even if they are as scandalous as you claim to be. It's not very considerate to have your head in an elevated sphere while your ridic ridiculous contraptions are flying around like crazy in the one everyone else occupies in full body. How do you know it belonged to one of us? It's a 10 meter long flying carrot propelled by magic. Could have been the Infinigons doing. Oh, maybe we've made a huge mistake then, or maybe you are a bit too bold. Bold? 
Do you remember what happened to the last independent mage who tried to use the Infinigon as a scapegoat? Hmm. <clears> hmm. <throat> Could have been a natural phenomenon. Enough with that! You're the only ones who have these things floating around. It's not very nice of the best cooks in the world to destroy the restaurant of a bunch of fellow chefs. Oh, my friend, but you're so very, very wrong. You lot are not our fellows. You are mundane. And we are transcendent. We'll never be even remotely close. Music! You cannot create in your sorry state. You petty soul in an empty bowl. But our concoction grants affliction and perfection. We come here asking you to fix the mess you made, and you start singing us a song about how much we suck compared to you? Who the hell do you think you are? Uh, whoa. Hello. You pulling knives on us? Oh, yeah, you're mages, right. We might not have thought this plan through. What's going on here? Oh, <clears throat> what's going on here? Anything interesting unfolding over there? N no, your majesty, sorry for the disturbance. You're not using magic to threaten a civilian, are you? Wouldn't want to have to get those people involved. No, Lord Commander, not at all. No need to involve anyone else in this, especially not those people. And what is this? They are implying that we attacked their restaurant with one of our props, but... That carrot went missing weeks ago. I'm sure they are the ones who stole it and couldn't even manage to control the thing. So you responded with a song. We did. Why? It just came out organically. Organically. With all the violins and choreography. Yes. Nonsense. I bet you've been rehearsing. How long have you been waiting for an occasion to use it? Silence! We didn't need to uh, rehearse. Uh, you know nothing of magic. Seems like you... <coughs> oh, wait. This is Malif uh, Mal Mal Malvivicus. Seems like you had a bit, of a bit of a clash here. Maybe you should solve it the proper way. What do you mean? I mean that they should solve their disputes in the arena of battle. They are chefs, after all. Wouldn't you agree, Your Majesty? What a splendid idea! I would love to be the judge of such a battle. No one dares to challenge the mighty Festumanchers to a duel for the epic chef title. Gotta take the chance now. There's someone who seems crazy enough to try. We need some emotion. It shall be done! <laughs> uh, uh, of course, your majesty. Fantastic, then. The four of you will engage in a duel in pairs. I'll let you handle the details, Mr. Val... Uh, Mr. Val... Mr. Malvivicus? Wow. That is... Mr. Valviviscus. That is such a hard name to say. Yes, your majesty. I'm glad that you've been insisting so much on coming here lately. <laughs> Otherwise, we could have missed this. Now, let us continue with this feast, gentlemen. Food like this shouldn't be left to waste. Uh... Just like that? We, we have to duel now? We didn't come here for that. Save it. You heard the king. This is happening, like it or not. But... He can't just make us fight. He can do whatever he wants, I believe. <clears throat> we aren't exactly thrilled about this either. You amateurs do not deserve the honor of being crushed by us. Really? Because the whole reason we're here to begin with is that you already tried to crush us once with that carrot of yours. Enough. We'll meet at the duel. 
Now get out of here. People don't pay to have their experiences soiled by a bunch of bumpkins. Okay. Okay, what just happened? It would seem we got into a duel, and the judge will be the king himself. The king? Whoa. Yes, whoa indeed. And you need to fight against them as a couple? Yes, something we've never done before against the worst adversaries they can, uh, there can be. I thought we were here to make them pay for the ceiling reparations. We were, but things have changed for the worse. I guess that if we win this combat, you'll be getting the money from them then? I don't think you guys understand what just happened there. There's more to stake than just some money to repair a roof. And that guy from the Critic Union was there as well. Again. S Stop with the conspiracy, Valzoi. We have enough on our plates as it is. Sure. Ignore the drunkard. What does he know? So, what's the plan? Why were we showing those other guys? I don't know, and I really don't think we should discuss it in the middle of our adversary's business anyway. We should retreat and think about what to do. Well, I'm not worried. Who are these people in the background here? <clears throat> well, I'm not worried. Zest has always managed to stand his ground against pretty scary people. This time will not be different. Right, Zest? Rhinoxy! Thank you for the raid. Squeaker says thank you. Welcome in, raiders. Thank you for the follow, Yevin. Yevin Valmont. Thank you for the uh, for the follow. Uh, raiders, welcome in. For those of you who do not know who I am, I am the Squeaking Lion. I am a variety gamer. I play a variety of different stuff. Royal Ace Knight, thank you for the follow. Thank you to both of you. Uh, <clears throat> oh, and I'm bumping my microphone. This is exciting stuff. Um, anyway, I am a variety gamer. I play whatever the hell I feel like. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Epic Chef lately. If you have not had a chance to check this game out, oh my god, it's so good. Um, it is freaking hilarious. <laughs> um, it's so good. It's, it's such a great game so far. Um, but yeah, Rin! Yay! Rin, you finally got to raid me. That was awesome. Yes, it's great to see you too. Um, if you have, can we get a shout out for Rin, please? Um, Rin is uh, absolutely fantastic. I love her to pieces. Um, she is a terrific streamer. If you have not had a chance to check her out, please do. Um, do I have a, a moderator on? Maybe I don't have a moderator on right now. Let me, let me, do, uh, let me give you a quick shout out, Rin. I don't think I have a moderator on right now. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Mama Bear. All right, let me try that again. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Mama Bear. I appreciate that. And hi, Mama Bear. How's it going? <laughs> uh, but anyway, what was I saying? You were playing po- Oh, yeah, you were playing Pokemon, because I just did. You were talking to dad? Oh, okay. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I mean, I know you guys get busy. Don't even worry about it. Sometimes I got to do my own moderation. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, if you haven't had a chance to, to check out my work, I am here. I'm also on YouTube. I'm also on Buy Me a Coffee. I have my own Discord. I'm, uh, I'm kind of a big deal. You know, <laughs> no, I'm not. But um, I am. I, I do have a lot of things for you to pursue and peruse at your leisure, uh, if you are so inclined to to check me out. And welcome into everybody. Thank you uh, for coming in, uh, and thank you for the follows. So anyway, <clears throat> we, you kind of caught us right in the middle of sort of a an epic issue. Um, so. I mean, it's kind of really complicated to explain. If you don't know anything about Epic Chef, it would take way too long to give you a recap. But what just happened is, is we just got uh, challenged. Basically, our restaurant was attacked by a giant flying carrot. Um, we came here to talk with some magical chefs who were dressed as weird sort of African witch doctors 
Um, we were interrupted by the king who told us that we now had to get in a chef battle with them. And our main character, Zest, just took off unexplainedly while uh, being talked to by a giant rat. Did, did, did I cover everything? And if that doesn't give you an idea of what this game is like, welcome to Epic Chef. <laughs> This is a great game. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, Zest? Zest? Oh, yeah, he's taken off. He is gone. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I must leave now. I better run back home and grab my things. Find a way to gain access. Oh, no, we already did that. Uh, quick. Birch. Get your things. I don't know. And and for some reason, um, Zest has been scared out of his mind about something in his past. And I think his past just caught up to him. And I think that's why he's running for it. Um. <sighs> Well, let's call it a day. I should return home and get some sleep. Yeah, I, I can't. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna. Um, we'll, we'll pick all that stuff up in the morning. I, I think we need to. Oh, yeah, I got, I got a lot of chores to do. But you know what? Um, clearly, we are supposed to be in a panic and we need to be running for our lives right now. So uh, we're going to run for our lives right now. Oh, wait. Emergency luggage. Grab the emergency luggage. <clears throat> At least... At least I have everything packed. Uh, I only need to take that damn book and leave. I, I left it in my room. Okay, get my things. Go, 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 go. Where's the book? Where's the book? Where's the book? It's right here. Where where's the book? Where's the book? Where the book? Damn thing. Very well. Off I go. Let's grab the rest of the baggage. What book? Whoa, wait, what, what book? There, there's some stuff going on. This, this is it then. Um, <clears throat> developers. On the run again. I guess it was inevitable. I should have left when I learned about that damn farvoyance thing. I had to let my feelings cloud my judgment. I'm sorry, crew. I'm really sorry. I hope you'll be able to forgive me one day. Eh, don't sweat it. The hell? <laughs> Frischka! How do you do that? <laughs> oh, that's right. At the very beginning, I have a book that I put in the chest. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Thank you for the reminder, Rin. The hell? You should be used to it by this point. What's this all about, Zest? I have no time to tell you the whole story. There's some people after me, and they'll be here any minute. I need to disappear. There's no other way? Not that I know. Okay, then. Where are we going? You. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> like I'm gonna let you do this alone. You've already gone through too much, Frishka. Mitriel will keep the restaurant. You can keep the villa. You have a real home here. And friends. You don't need to throw all that away to become a wanderer again. <laughs> My zest. How nice of you to worry about me. All the more reason to come with you. But you... You finally found belonging. Sure did. Aww. <laughs> I think Frischka has has uh, ha has discovered her her true feelings for Zest. I. Are you kidding me? Just what the hell do you do think you're doing? Plotting to leave just like that? I'm not letting you go. I need you here. Damn it. But, Mitriel, you'll get the restaurant. This is your dream. This isn't my dream at all. 
I don't want to be running a restaurant that we built from the ground up together while you're hiding from Tempress knows what, where, uh, Tempress knows where, like a rat. Eh. Uh, sorry, Squirrel. I, I I didn't mean. <sighs> it's all right. Have you all just been hiding there and eavesdropping? Oh no, it's just that Frishka is pretty fast. Where's Valzoy? He lagged behind a bit. Man doesn't have the healthiest of lifestyles. Uh oh. But that must be him now. It's not him! <laughs> Closing the door uh, won't do you any good. We know you're there. This little game is over. <laughs> hey! Who the hell are you, Bunch? Leave us alone. We have no quarrel with you. With the rest of you. Just him. We are here to bring that man to justice. Justice for what? I'm Special Agent Estilla Von Rintz, Retriever of the Kingdom of Luceria. That man is wanted for the murder of Queen Yerga the Fourth. What? What? It was true? You mean that story he told actually was true? Of course it was true. Did you think I'd just joke around about something like that after the heart-to-heart -heart conversation like the one we had? Yes! See? He admitted it. Now stop covering for that regicider. Regicide. What? Stop covering for that regicide. There's no covering the crime. It's very public already. We're not covering the crime, we're covering him. That's what I said! No, you didn't. What kind of idiot are you? I think, she, I think she means that you don't call a person who commits regicide a regicide her. A regicide her, you call him a regicide. Did I accidentally just say reach inside her? That is just wrong on so many levels. Sorry. YouTube, please don't demonetize me. <clears throat> that doesn't make sense. You don't call a runner a run. Well, must be one of those things, like cook. He cooks, then he's a cook. He regicides, then he's a regicide. Hmm. Regicides? Uh, not quite sure about that one, now that you mention it. Shut it! Have it your way, then. I'm here for the regicide. What? What's the meaning of this? Lucerian soldiers in full uniform openly conspiring against our king? And who the hell are you? I'm an agent of the law in this country, so I'd watch your mouth if I were you. Your outfit means nothing in this land. I am a special agent here by express order of the new king. Your king sent you here to kill ours? We're not here to kill a king! You're the one who walks around asking for regicide. I don't mean the action, I mean the person, him! The regicide is him! And I'm here to arrest him! Ah. Wouldn't that make him the regicidist? Ugh. Zest, is this true? Did you murder a monarch? Not quite. I see. Lies! You admitted it not a minute ago! I admitted I was being hunted for regicide, not that I killed anyone. Save that for the tribunal. Enough. Look, miss, I can't simply sit here and a allow a foreign agent to abduct a citizen of Concordia without evidence and a royal order. We've just arrived today. We still don't have all the forms filled. Then you'll have to go through the adequate procedures. You might have overstepped a bit here. Ha! <laughs> procedures. So this is what this is about. I forgot we were in Concordia. Fine then, how much do you... Are you trying to bribe an officer of the law, ma'am? Because that wouldn't work... Uh, that wouldn't end very well for you. That, that sounded serious. 
Is this really Concordia? Shut it. Very well. What do you want us to do? I'd start by talking to Captain Bonificus. He handles the initial stages of this kind of paperwork. Initial stages? Oh yes, we're talking international issues here. I'd get comfortable if I were you, but he must be sleeping now. You'll have to wait till tomorrow noon. Noon. Yeah, he likes to take his time for breakfast. Just you wait. You're not getting out of this one just like that, Regicide. Alleged Regicide. Exactly. All hail Spec, the only one, the one and only non bribable guard in Concordia. Tough luck to end up stumbling upon the only non corrupt watchman in Concordia. Good call, Valzoi. So, are you going to tell us what the hell this is all about or not? Oh. Guess it makes no sense to keep it a secret anymore. I'll tell you everything tomorrow at the restaurant. We've had enough emotions for one day. This isn't a ruse to sneak away in the middle of the night, is it? No. I guess I've come to understand that I'm safer here than anywhere else. Good. Let's try to get some rest now. And good job to you too, by the way. What with? The whole regicide thing. Good distraction. But I wasn't trying to... Oh my god. I'm turning into him. 